So treatments are getting better for vitiligo. So one of the things that we're understanding is that vitiligo is an autoimmune disease. It's a chronic disease. So it doesn't mean that we can't make things better. It doesn't mean we can't treat it, but it also means we can't cure it. And so understanding that is, is helpful. Just like there are other autoimmune diseases that, again, we can manage, but we can't cure. The other thing that we're finding out is also the association with internal conditions that are part of this condition. First of all, it's counseling. When people come in with LIGO, they have two concerns. Oftentimes, well, they want to know what it is. Secondly, they're very worried about it spreading, and which is a really a source of anxiety and concern. And then they want to make sure that there's nothing else going on inside. The vast majority of patients with LIGO do not develop internal conditions. Now, over a 10-year period of time, you can really prevent thyroid disease causing a lot of problems by tracking the thyroid. A simple test can be replaced with a thyroid supplement. But there is a certain small percentage of patients with, with, with vitiligo that can have significant internal diseases. Having an autoimmune neurologic disease is a really serious issue. Having a condition like Guillain-Barre is a real problem. Having a condition such as lupus is a big concern. And if you can screen those patients when they have symptoms, then you know what to do. Versus screening everybody, which gets very expensive, but completely missing the diagnosis when a patient has vitiligo, they have these unusual symptoms, you're not sure what's going on, and if you had known the association, you could have screened them for that. Promising. Society is really starting to pick up that vitiligo is a disease we've got to deal with. Our patient support groups are really starting to take off and find their voice, and there are molecular targets that researchers such as John Harris and Shi Sheng Ni and many others throughout the country and world and the Vindu Prasad in India that have really found different areas that we can work on. And if companies develop targets to those, we can really help people with progressive vitiligo control the disease and hopefully find treatments such as aflamonotide, which is a medication that can really bring color back, that are experimental but may show some promise. In this study, it suggests that vitiligo is really an internal condition. So light treatments are a big part of it. Creams are part of our localized areas. But for the more difficult cases, are probably oral treatments. We also have very good surgical options for patients who have localized disease where the creams and the light treatments don't work. But for people who have generalized vitiligo, we need better options. And so we have some very prominent patients with vitiligo who are trying to talk, a, a talk out about their condition and explain to society what it is. But the most important thing is it's a condition that you should show some dignity and respect to that individual. Um, if, if you look at them just like you do with any other social situation, don't look at the vitiligo spot, but maybe ask them about it. And if they're having a hard time coping, a little reassurance can go a long way. And at least you recognize that and you know what kind of battle they're fighting.